Hi, my name's Cameron Beach, and I'm a Toshiba DX and VRF product manager. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Toshiba RBC AMSU 52-E and how to set the modes available. So here we have the Toshiba RBC AMSU 52E controller. And the first thing that we're going to do is power the controller on using the on and off button. And we can also now see that it's illuminated in the top left hand corner. To set the modes available, we need to access the DN codes. So to do this, we press the list button in the top left hand corner to enter the main menu. And then press and hold this list button as well as the down arrow for four to five seconds. After doing this, you're brought into the field setting menu. And again, using the down arrow, we can navigate to option nine for DN setting, using the middle or set button to enter into this function. On certain machinery, you will see indoor and outdoor unit DN codes. In this example, we'll be using indoor unit DN codes, again, using the middle button to set. The next menu that you face is the addresses in the system. You can navigate through these using the up and down arrows as seen. And once you're happy with the selected address, again, use the set or middle button to enter. We're now into the DN codes. For modes available, we can need to go to code 2D. Once on code 2D, we can see that the current data is set at 0015. This means that all modes are available. This DN code is binary, so we can set this to a variety of settings, including fan only, cooling only, dry mode, and heating only. We can also do a mix, for example, heating and cooling. Once we're happy with our selection of the data, we can then use the middle button to fix this setting. And as we're creating no other changes, we can then click no, which is the return arrow. This then brings us back to the address menu, again, using the return arrow, and again to exit. You're then faced with the egg timer. The egg timer will flash for 30 seconds to one minute. Once the egg timer is completed setting, you're then brought back to the field setting menu, where again, you can click the return arrow and again to be brought back to the main menu. You can then power the controller on and all settings will have been made. And that's how to set the modes available on the Toshiba RBC AMSU 52E controller. Thanks for watching today's video. Hopefully you found this information useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.